and hello everyone welcome by Arts and Orchids today I wanted to do the last update on these guys because um, this will be the last part of my um, how I transfer my orchids into self-watering pots and I already can see this is the last one because of this beautiful root whoops focus um, that's a beautiful new root that will get used to uh, to the new setup and thereby I uh, will have all my orchids into a self-watering setup and I will show you now the pots maybe there are some roots inside these two were the last ones as well these two um, and if these uh, do uh, sorry if these plants are adapted those will be the last ones and then I can say that all my plants are adapted to self-watering setup. So let's have a look in a pot and see if we can find any new roots there as well. I first start with this encyclia. Uh, I have a new root there, but I already saw, sorry, this new root. And I also saw a new growth there, and we have a new growth there, here. So that's a good sign. It's a really a sign that this plant is getting into its growing state. And yeah, I didn't expect. Oh, look, a beautiful new growth here as well. I completely missed that one. This one is way bigger already. Oh, and there another one. There are already four in this one. So yeah, this one is really picking up. Beautiful. That root still working. It's not incredible, but yeah, soon there will be more roots. It's, we'll start with this one, probably some in the pot. But yeah, that's really looking uh, good. And then we have the first of the Borussias who were left. And also, obviously, a new growth there. And I do not see any new roots on this side, but I did see some branches Okay, and I am back. My battery died, <laughs> but um, here and I'm gonna try to zoom in. I see little green root tips starting. I think you can already see them there. That is on an older root, so that is branching, which makes me happy, of course, because that means that those roots will be. Uh, adapted to this setup as well. And meanwhile, I'm looking for some new ones. Not really seeing them, but this is enough. This means that I need to have water in uh, in my pot, so the new roots can adapt to a uh, new setup. So this one is going uh, as well, um, also as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let me uh, show you the last one and how um, yeah, maybe we can find some new roots on that one as well and this is the other brescia same one as the one before there was two uh, plants in one pot I decided to give them uh, their own pot um, to give them a little bit more room this one is having some new roots I expect soon some new roots let me check if I can already see something Oops. Yes, there inside that brack there's a little green point. So new roots are coming. That means as well that I can leave this in a self-watering setup. Um, but let's just let's check. Maybe we have something here. Uh, well, there is something there. I think that is a new growing tip but not as obvious as the one before as visible but this one is uh, ready to go as well because it's starting new roots most of the times if you see some new roots on top probably there are some branches there as well and uh, so therefore this one is also uh, starting to adapt to a self-watering setup 
And this is the end of this series. I will keep uh, posting uh, updates on these orchids, but just in a regular, regularly uh, videos. So I'm not going to make any more series I, uh, because I think we can do updates uh, while we are talking and running through the greenhouse. And um, so therefore, this is uh, this is a series. I hope it uh, was helpful or it is helpful. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this setup. Uh, if you have any questions, maybe I le left some things out, or you have, yeah, like I said, you have some questions, comments. Um, yeah, please let me know in the comment section. I would really like to know if this was uh, useful. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.